This video is gonna make some people mad, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about the Canon RF 100-300L versus the new Sony 300GM. Let's go. Many times we talk in terms of the Trinity, and the Trinity usually means 1635, 2470, 7200. But to a sports photographer, the Trinity really means 3028, 4028, 600 f4. That's what it means. And so today, the Trinity is complete in Sony for the very first time. I am very excited about this, as you can tell. The advent of the 3028 GM is going to create a brand new situation that has not existed for sports photographers that have been shooting Sony since the very beginning of the A9. And that is that for the very first time, when this lens starts shipping in February of 24, there are going to be 4028s plentiful used to purchase. This lens and the 600 f4 have been very, very difficult to come by used because really nobody sells them. They only buy them, acquire them, and keep them. But many people who bought the 4028 GM in the first place really would have bought the 3028 if it had been available. And some of those people are going to pedal their, their 4028 s and go for the new 300 GM. This is going to create a whole new situation where there's going to be plentiful 4028s available in the used marketplace, which has never happened. Whenever you have increased supply, you have dropping prices. Typically, 400 GMs sell for about $1,000 less than new, which means they sell for about ten grand, 9500 if you get a really good deal. 9000 is a steal in one. I predict that in probably mid-24, we're going to see $8,500 lenses selling, which would be great for people that have wanted to get in but can't afford the price tag of the eleven grand it takes to get a new one. Now, this new 3028 G Master lens is going to hit the marketplace at the same moment that the new camera does. Now this will be the fourth camera that Sony's made since 2017 that's specifically made for sports photography, action, performance, whatever, stuff that moves. This is a big deal too because it is going to create a new price drop among A1s and A9-2s and the original A9. So this new camera is going to really um, cause some people to move stuff around and change things, trade things, sell things. It's going to be interesting to see how things go. So at the very same time, the 300 GM is going to disrupt and change the average resale price of a 400 G Master. The new camera is going to interrupt the pricing of the average amounts people are paying for A9s, A92s, and A1s. Now what's going to be interesting about this from Sony's perspective, because they don't really know anything about used camera gear, they're going to start seeing lots of GM lenses selling, but not as many cameras as maybe they would typically think that would happen when they sold a big lens. And the reason for that is a lot of people are going to buy used cameras to put on the new 300 GM. But the grace of all this is the pricing. The pricing that Sony has set for this new lightest weight ever 3028 that's mirrorless or mirrorless or DSLRs, it's so low that I think so many people will come into Sony just to get this lens. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for people to begin to shoot Sony that have never shot it before and have just had to be been held back by the pricing of the 400 GM. And so the last lens in the, in the trinity of super telephoto lenses that Sony has made is going to disrupt very much the sort of status quo among people that are already shooting Sony too. Here's the thing. No matter how many lenses Sony predicted they would sell when they came out with the 3028, they're wrong. They're going to sell way more. I predict they're going to be in short supply for a year, maybe more. This lens is so revolutionary in its pricing, its weight, uh, and its sharpness that people are going to clamor for this thing from all different aspects of photography. Sony thinks it's a sports lens. It's way more than a sports lens. Uh, people are going to buy these things like hotcakes to shoot weddings, to shoot senior pictures, uh, to shoot portraits, uh, just regular portraits. It is a Boca machine. And at the price, it's just going to sell like hotcakes. And I think that so Sony will have woefully underestimated the number of lenses that they're going to move. My advice to all of you, if you're thinking about buying one, is get on a list immediately. Pre-order that thing as soon as possible through a, a dealer. 
definitely want to do that. Also, people that have never considered buying a 3028, when they're eventually able to go into a camera store and lift one up and put it on their camera and see how light it is and compact, lots of people that would have never considered one before are going to buy them. It's just going to happen. The new 300 G Master 3028 weighs just 3.2 pounds. Uh, that is incredible. <laughs> it, it, it's really amazing. Now, when you combine the weight of the new 300 GM with an A1 and a grip and a battery and a card, the total of all that weight is 5.6 pounds. Now, here's where it really gets just interesting. Canon's new RF 100-300 2.8L lens weighs 5.7 pounds, which is uh, a lot. When you combine the new Canon 100-300 zoom with an R3 body with a battery and a card in it, all of a sudden you're at 7.9 or 8 pounds. When you compare the weight of just the Canon 100-300 uh, zoom with an R3 body attached to it to the A1, with the new 300 GM and a grip. The difference in weight is literally a Canon 7200 RF 2.8 lens. So you're gonna be carrying two lenses instead of just one, just to have that zoom capability. Now, the difference in weight is significant, but I get the fact that the Sony lens doesn't zoom. Yes, I understand that. But typically for basketball, you really don't ever take it off 300 millimeter when you're looking down court. And that's where this lens is gonna be used immediately. Now I want you to also think about something at tournament time, basketball tournament time, karate tournaments, all these things. But let's just use basketball as an example. When a conference tournament rolls around, the first day of the tournament, you're gonna to shoot eight games in a row in one day. They start sometimes at 9 a.m. and end at 10.30 at night. It is a ball breaking, incredibly difficult. It's a marathon. Um, so typically you shoot eight games the first day. The next day you shoot four games. Then you usually have a day off. Then you shoot two games, the semifinals. And then you have the next day you shoot the final game. This is a long slog. And you are literally picking that lens up to look down court thousands and thousands of times throughout a tournament. The difference in weight between the Canon lens and the Sony GM lens is significant, and it really adds up over time, especially at tournament time. Now, I've never shot the 100 to 300 L, and I probably won't ever do it. Um, I'm sure it's a great lens, but I am so happy that Sony didn't even think about putting a 1.4 converter into the new 300 GM. You can always add one if you want to. But the fact that it's the lightest weight possible lens ever made in this focal length is phenomenal. And it's really, really, I'm just so happy that they didn't make a zoom or put an integrated uh, converter in there. If they had added the teleconverter, it would have made it more expensive. It would have made it heavier and bulkier. And I don't want any of those things. So the new 300 GM lens is going to start showing up in camera stores and shipping right near the end of normal NCAA basketball season. Uh, it's going to be here in time for conference tournaments and then the big dance. My prediction, too, is that virtually every single AP photographer shooting the tournament this year will have a 3028 from Sony. Many have said that the AP was the reason why they made the 3028 GM in the first place. Now, I'm not sure if that's true, but I'm just glad it's here. So I'm excited for all of you to get a chance to shoot this little bugger. It is unbelievable. 51 ounces? That's crazy. Uh, it is such a neat lens and so sharp. It's great with teleconverters. Please see my review here uh, if you want to know more information about it. By the way, the little GM on the side of the lenses that they make on this 328, to me the GM stands for it's about time. I'm so glad they finally made this thing. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.